Hi, it's Kerry here. Welcome to the video. Yes, it's been a couple of weeks since I did the last one. Not really much going on except for work and more work. Um, so today is the 7th of June 2021, which happens to be the Queen's birthday holiday here in New Zealand. So no work. And it also happens to be my sister Michelle's birthday. So happy birthday, Michelle. Not that I think you view this anyway. Uh, anyway, so I just wanted to bring you up to date to what's going on um and wrap up a book which i finished a few weeks ago actually but i haven't actually made a video about so what's going on uh like i said work is pretty much taking up all of my time um and when i do get free time to read i'm trying to catch up uh in a losing battle to catch up with all the magazines and periodicals which come through i have like two months worth of them to read and i'm almost there almost at the finish line of course then the next month's worth of them will come through and and ruin my day again and in the meantime i'm really finding it hard to find time to actually read a book i started on um andy Weir's project hail mary but i've only made it through the first chapter so far um i've been feeling like that to get the magazines out of the way is probably more of a priority at this stage of course i know it's a it's a losing battle i'm making rods for my own back doing all this so anyway and on and other things yesterday i got my second uh covid jab uh the pfizer vaccine i'm now fully vaccinated um after hearing so many horror stories about people's reactions after the second jab i'm quite surprised that i have absolutely none um the only thing i can notice is like a, a sore patch in my muscle when I move my arm that's where the needle went in no fevers no nausea no sickness um I hear that enough from people at work but absolutely nothing to me hopefully that that means that that doesn't mean that the vaccine actually isn't working for me but who knows so anyway that's uh that that all out of the way I because of my job um I am classed as an essential worker so that's why I've jumped the queue to get these vaccinations before most of the population here in New Zealand um so anyway I think I will now wrap up uh HMS Surprise so HMS Surprise is the third uh novel in Patrick O'Brien's Aubrey Maturin series now this is a first volume of the collective set um so it's one quarter of this volume is HMS Surprise uh, now HMS Surprise is a bit more low-key uh part of the series um well series so far i've only read three of them um so there's there's less action less naval action less naval to terminology to scratch your head over um so basically uh, maturin gets himself in trouble when someone uh, blows his cover uh, aubrey rescues him from uh french and spanish prisoners uh then they uh, get basically sent off on a mission to take a diplomat to Malaya. Um, all sorts of things happen on the way, and they stop over in India. Uh, the Indian uh, sojourn is really the heart of the novel. Most of the things happen, and it's quite a lot of character development this time around. Um, we see the highs and lows of India in the early 19th century, um, all the poverty, all the, all the wealth of the British there. Um, and while they're um, mature in uh pretty much falls head over heels again for diana villiers a woman that he was found himself in love with in her earlier books uh, meanwhile aubrey um is trying to stick to the job he gets the ship refitted you know they move they leave india after quite a long section of the book um get almost the way all the way to malaya when tragedy strikes again and they have to turn around and come back and on the way back they encounter the uh British uh, East India Company ships heading back to England and right on their tail is a French uh, fleet. So then in about the last quarter of the book, uh, the naval action actually happens and um, things happen after that. And I won't give away any spoilers, but there's some dramatic stuff involving uh, Maturin, um, which almost ends badly for him. So anyway, on the whole, it's like I said, it's more of a character study this time around um the naval action is only like in the last quarter of the book um and i enjoyed it but it's very slow it's quite slow moving compared to the first two and the stuff in india is really the heart of the book um we're really getting to see 
into the uh, hearts and minds of the main characters now. So, um, so I'm looking forward to the fourth volume, the Mar Mauritius Command. Uh, hopefully get round to reading it soon. Um, I've got such a backlog of other books, of course. Um, and I've recently read that they're thinking about making a new movie series about um, Aubrey, Aubrey and Maturin. Um, and they're thinking of starting from the beginning. So will I finish the books before the movies start coming out? Who knows? Anyway, so... That's me all done. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been ke keeping up with the regular videos. There's just not much going on, not much to talk about. I haven't actually, until a couple of days ago, I hadn't even actually bought any new books using my new pay. So I uh, rectified that in a, in a fit of um, commerce the other day. I've ordered, uh, I think, at least nine or ten books to arrive in the next few weeks. So that will keep the uh, the videos humming over as I receive the new books. So until then, I hope you're having a good day. Um, God save the Queen because she gave us this public holiday. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.